So today we're going to work on the bottom of Devil's foot to her Achilles tendon, calf muscles, hamstrings, gluteal muscles, and lower back. So Devil, can you briefly tell us how you've been feeling since our last session, which worked with the rectus abdominis and the psoas muscle? Um, I've been feeling really good, actually. And um, that ongoing thing with my heel is like really almost gone. I just notice it when I'm not, when I forget to do the things you told me to do. And are we um, referring to the left to bottom the left of the bottom heel? bottom heel, yep. Okay. And it really, really only bothers me when I aggravate it and then I don't do the, the, the tennis ball and, and the, um, you know, uh, moving it around that you... Um, told me to do, and that's only that's the only time it bothers me. So it's a, it's, a, it's so much better. Good. And uh, yeah, and I, I've just been feeling um, feeling very good about how my body has been feeling over this time. So. All right. Thank you for your honesty. We're gonna get into some ticklish areas. Just rewarning you. <laughs> okay. So this is great to know that the client double is telling me beforehand that there will be ticklishness. My goal, to the best of my ability will be to use more of a broader stroke initially. And then as I have made double a little bit more comfortable where there's less ticklishness, then I'll use more fine detailed instruments of my thumbs and uh, knuckles. So I wanna thank you for continuing to walk as I work with all parts of your body. And now we're going to lay face down in the cradle and gently raise your feet up. Okay, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to make a shift here. See, I like how there's a lot of softness in the thigh. This is good. I mean, most people have very tight thighs, so this is good. Okay. And is there a little bit more tightness on the right left side? Is that me um, or is that the... Okay. Yeah, less so on the right side than the left. Okay. So we have double now laying face down in the face cradle, and we're going to be working from her foot to the Achilles tendon, calf muscles, hamstrings, gluteal muscles, and lower back. We're gonna to start today on the right side. We're gonna have Double come off the table, walk a couple times, tell us how she feels. Then we're gonna work the left side. And then we will conclude with some hip work and a sacral cradle. So starting with the foot. And as before, Double will tell us either by tapping out or communicating with us verbally if there's too much pressure or too little pressure. As we know, the bottom of the foot is the starting point for the connective tissue or fascia along the back side of the body. The right side feels very nourished, feels very hydrated. And now I'm going to work on her Achilles and calf muscle. And my focus is broad right now, working right down the middle of her calf muscles. The next two strokes, I will be a little bit more fine tuned and using my fingers to create that space between the left and right gastrocnemii muscles.
Another way of using a broad stroke is to use my left ulna and forearm and slowly going from the Achilles tendon to the back of the knee. Being very sensitive to a lot of the tendons and muscles that are connecting into the back of the knee. So I'm probably going to stop about one or two inches from the crease of the knee. Devil, how are we doing? Very well, considering that I thought this would be a ticklish area. Okay. It might get ticklish now as I have more of a fine tuned stroke. Now I'm going to start at Debo's Achilles tendon and follow that natural space that separates her medial gastrocnemius muscle and lateral gastrocnemius muscle. Because Debo is very symmetrical to begin with, you're not going to see her outside gastroc be more developed or more positioned on her lateral side of her lower leg versus the inside. And double, how is the pressure here? It's great. Okay. It feels good and I feel all the, I love the fact that I can really feel stuff moving. And again, there's one like that. Again, starting at the Achilles tendon which then turns into the soleus muscle. And I'm just following the natural contour of Devil's lower leg. Okay, now we're going to progress up to the hamstrings. I'm just going to do a very, just a nice deep compression into the middle of the hamstring. Just introducing myself to Devil's right hamstring muscles before we do finer strokes. Double any tightness or sensitivity I should know about as I progress up to your gluteus, um, to your buttocks. I don't really feel any, I expect to feel more on the other side. Okay. And again, just using very broad strokes. So I'm thinking of a submarine and how it only goes forward until it goes all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. And that's how I'm imagining Devil's connective tissue or fascia. I started right above the knee, went all the way down to that level, which is that layer of the connective tissue. And I'm still on it and I'm slowly progressing to her gluteal fold. Excellent. Now we're going to do some finer detail work where I'm going to find the space between Debo's hamstring muscles and her IT band, as well as her vastus lateralis, her outside quadricep or thigh muscle.
Good. Now we're going to work on the medial side. So I'm going to create space between the hamstring and the adductor muscles. Okay, a couple more broad strokes and then we're going to progress into the buttocks. Okay, now we're going to encourage some movement. So I'm going to place my forearm in the gluteal fold of Debo's right buttocks, and Debo's going to slowly take her heel to her buttocks on my cue. So, what I'm really trying to soften are the attachments of the hamstring into the sits bones. And so here we go. Just raise up just half of the way. Good. And slowly come back down. And again. Any soreness or tightness, Debo? No, but it seems a little challenging to squeeze it. Okay. If you squeeze it too hard, you can Good. Couple more times. And again. Okay. Two more times. And last time. Good. All right, thank you. Now we're pro going to progress to the gluteal muscles. And the first thing I'm going to feel is the spine. And I'm right now I'm on, on the sacrum. And I'm going to work some of the muscles that connect into the sacrum. Okay. And double how is the pressure here? Okay. And I want you to gently raise the right heel up twice. Excellent. And come back down. And last time. Thank you. And I'm going to slowly progress up a little bit higher up. And I'd like you to gently extend your heel into your buttocks two times. Okay, and relax, slowly progressing up again. And two more times, lifting the heel into the buttocks. Good, and come back down. Thank you. And relax.
Max. Now I'm going to work right in the middle of Gebel's right gluteus maximus and even the piriformis. So I'm going to have you to make two more repetitions where you take your heel into your buttocks. Excellent. And as we know, the gluteus maximus muscle is used primarily from a stand from a sitting position to standing and relax. I'm going to test Devil's flexibility. That's a very good devil to go very easily outside and to the inside. Okay. Now I'm going to raise devil's shirt just about a quarter of the way up. And I'm just gonna work on the fibers right above and the connective tissue right above the hip. And then also from the mid back to the hip. Thank you. So, so now I'm going to work from the gluteal muscles back down to the feet. A little faster pace, okay? So again, now just finding where the sacrum and lumbar region is, primarily a sacrum area. Any soreness or tightness here? Devil. Okay. Okay. And here. Okay. Okay, so now we've worked on devil's right buttocks, and now I'm going to progress back down to the foot. Good. Now progressing to the calf muscles.
and I'm not sure if double felt that or not, but I'm making just a slight shift. I just made a slight shift in her right lower leg so that there can be a little bit more symmetry when I'm pressing into her calf muscles. And then finally back down to the foot. Okay, so we are finished with the right posterior lower body of double. And when she is ready, she will come up from the table and will walk several times to the front door to analyze her gait. Yes. And now here is double standing after she got up from the table and she's gonna go for a walk to the door and back and tell us how that right side is feeling Very loose. on the posterior side. Like, I mean, it really, like, it, it almost feels like my left, like, I don't know, um, it feels like my left side feels very tight by comparison. <laughs> and let's just walk one more time. It's like just going, like, yeah. <laughs> so you are, the sacrum is like a pendulum. It's That's rotating. Right. Where it's like a pendulum going back and forth. And so there's a easier swing in the hips. Um, and because of that, there's more of a contralateral motion in your shoulders. Okay. Tell us what you're I just some I more. really feel like this leg is um, the right leg? Yeah, the right leg when you work on I feel like the hip is working less to okay. keep the leg forward. Yes. I feel like the leg is going a little bit more kind of smoothly and so, I mean, it just, and then by comparison, my left side feels like, a, you know, stiff in comparison. It's kind of, a, it's really amazing. Okay, good. I, I still like how you are walking in a sagittal plane, that plane that bisects left and right, and you're not crossing over that imaginary plane while walking. So now we are going to get back on the table, face in the cradle, and you're gonna be face down, and I'm gonna work on your left side. We have finished the gait analysis or walking analysis after we've walk, we have worked on Debo's right side of the back of her body. And now we're back on the table, we're gonna work on the left side, but I would like to say that one of the things that you should check for when you place your client on the table, especially with a neutral face rest where the head is not going to the left or to the right, is looking at the hips and seeing if one hip is higher than the other. I did not see that when we first started and neither do I see it now. So. That's a good sign. So let's work on your left bottom of the foot. And I'm gonna be curious to see what's happening right at the heel, Depo. Double, can you tell us how the heel is feeling on the right, on the left very, side? The very left straight and big, um, Right down the middle. Was, yeah, very, very tender, very yeah. relaxed, so it's a nice, healthy 
And what about on the medial side here? Okay, and what about on the lateral side? Okay, so it's right down the middle. Okay. Just one more stroke. So, so far, I feel there's a little bit more resistance as I sink into Devil's left lower leg. Devil, what are you experiencing right now? Mm -hmm. Feel right leg. I can really feel things moving right when you got in there, and then this leg it feels like it's moving even more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those were several broad strokes. I'm going to use my fingertips to follow the space between the Achilles tendon, which then goes into the soleus muscle, all the way to the knee. And one or two more times. And I can clearly feel how there's a lot, there's more tightness right down the middle of Devil's calf muscle on the left side versus the right side. Just one more time. And the tightest spot for you, Debo, is right smack dab in the middle of your calf muscle. And just to show our general public, 
right in here. So that means that either this session or the next couple sessions, I need to look at the balancing muscle on the shin, both on the medial side and on the lateral side. And I will make a note to myself at the conclusion of the session. But next, we're going to progress upwards, and I'm going to do a compression in the hamstrings on the left-hand side. And already I feel more of a resistance on Devil's left hamstrings. Devil, is that your experience? Yes. Especially right in the lower to middle part of your hamstrings. especially right here, right in the middle, right before your gluteal fold. Interesting enough, right by your gluteal fold is not as tight as the rest of the leg. It's, the tightness is more in the middle of your hamstring. Okay, now we're going to work on those two spaces like we worked on on the right side. So the first space I'm gonna work on is between the IT band and the hamstrings. Sometimes I might not know where they go, but if I have just some gentle movement where I take Devil's ankle to the her buttocks, I can easily feel where that space is. And Devil, could I have you to take your heel to your buttocks twice? Your left heel. Thank you. That's all. Good. Come on back. And again. Thank you. And come on back down. Now I'm going to work on the other space, the other septum between the adductor and the hamstring. Again, doing a little movement. I can find out where the space is. And I'm going to have double to raise her heel into her buttocks. Good. And come back down. Two more times, double. And last time. And thank you. Going back to compression. progressing upwards to the gluteal fold. And I'm going to have Devil raise her, take her heel into her buttocks. Good, come on back. And again.
three more times. Good and relax, thank you. Progressing to the sacrum. I'm going to have you take your left heel into your buttocks again. That's good. And continue going up and back down. Two more times. Okay. Testing out the left leg in terms of flexibility. Internally, externally, are excellent. So that feels as much as I can go without forcing it. So that means I need to make a note to myself that in order for the hamstring to contract even more, we need to lengthen the quadricep or the thigh muscle. Thank you, Devil, for your patience. I'm gonna work right inside, right on top of the gluteus maximus and piriformis, I'm going to have you take your left heel and come up. So already what I'm feeling is more resistance in this part of Deb's gluteal muscles. I have to press a lot harder and deeper to even get somewhat close to the piriformis. And just two more times. Double, what is your experience? Um, the area that you're on right now is definitely more tender. Mm -hmm. And relax. Thank you. Now we will progress even more towards the head, working on the hip. and the lower spinal muscles. As we know, the distal attachments of the quadratus lumborum are right on top of the iliac crest, on top of the hip. So my purpose is just to Gently soften those attachments. And now we can work on the spinal muscles. And this left side of, the, of your, your left spinal muscles are tighter in your mid-back than on the right side.
And just one more pass along the mid back to the hip, along the spinal muscles. And double, I'm gonna have you to just breathe right into my fist. That's along your spine. Thank you. Progressing down towards the feet. I want you to take this, your left heel, into your buttocks. And stop and come on back down. And again. Good. And then come back down. And again. So what I'm feeling is there's more tightness in your upper sacrum than towards your coccyx. So I'm going to go back to where there was some resistance and have you raise your ankle again. Just two more times, keep on going, keep on going, good. Two more times. That's a tight spot for you right there. Devil, would you agree? Mm -hmm. And last time. Good, and come back down. Back into the gluteus maximus, piriformis. And gently come up one time with your left heel. Gently coming back up. There you go. Excellent. Still, we have the tightness in the middle of your mm -hmm. hamstring. Okay, we're going to progress towards the left foot. One last stroke. And finally, back down to the foot. Just 
checking in with the heel to see if we still have tightness. Feels like I can sink in a little bit more. I'm gonna save the best for last and work right down the middle. Still some tightness. And I'm curious, let me just for a point of reference check the right foot. Mm -hmm. The left side's, the right side going down the middle of the heel, splitting the foot from left side to right side is a lot softer. I can sink in a lot easier with my knuckle on the right side devil versus on the left side. Can you feel that devil? Okay. So let let us continue to do the good work that you've been doing and massaging your feet and or using a lacrosse ball, tennis ball to work out some of the fascial adhesions and take out this, the tightness in the bottom of your feet. Okay? All right. So now we're going to, whenever you're ready, slowly come off the table and we're going to see what your gait analysis is like as we have worked the left side of the back of your body. Okay, so Debo has come off the table. We have worked the left side of her lower body on the back side, on the posterior side, and Debo's going to take a walk and tell us how she feels walking to the door. The left side feels looser now than it did before, but the right side still feels looser than the left side. Okay. Yeah. Let's have you walk one more time. I like how there's really nice abduction, meaning your hip is coming out from the midpoint as you're walking. So that is a good sign. So one thing we're going to do in probably session eight and 10 is to work on the quadricep muscles as they are the balancing muscles to the hamstrings. So to conclude, as we always do, we're going to do some hip, hip work. And double, since the left side is tighter than the right side, I want to work on your right side first. So you're going to lay on your left side. So now we're working on Devo's right side, and we're going to do some clamshells where she's going to pretend her heels are glued together, and she's gently going to raise just the right leg up and back down. And we're going to do this about four times. What I'm feeling is there's more tightness in the gluteus medius and also in the gluteus minimus. Good. So although we saw her walk, <laughs> although we saw her walk and there's very good abduction, I feel like there's a little tightness here and I'd like to release it before we conclude today. Good. Come on back. Just two more times. Good. One. And last time. Excellent. And so now I'm going to check out how easy it is to take Debo's hip into an anterior tilt and posterior tilt. And it feels amazing. The only tight spot I'm feeling so far on your hip, Debo, is here. That's more the post uh, piriformis and right there. <laughs> so what we're going to do now above the laughing is just to extend our heel or 
our knee and come on back. And I'm going to take a broader stroke. And we're going to do this three times. Double how is the pressure? That's good. Mm -hmm. The broader stroke is helping me not laugh. Okay, we're going to do this two more times. Good. One more time. And hold it. Good, and come on back. We test again, and I'm not feeling, only, now I'm only feeling one trigger point, and that's right in the piriformis. So two times, we're gonna take our knee into our chest. And if you need some assistance, you can just gently guide. Come on back, and last time. And if you want to extend the leg, good, and come on back. Another test will we'll determine how really easy it is to take devil's hip into anterior tilt and posterior tilt. I'm happy. I'm checking the space between her last rib and the hip. And we should go to the other side. So devil is now going to roll over onto her right side. And now we're on devil's right side to work on the left side. And as we know, throughout the session, there was more tightness on devil's left heel, calf muscle, hamstring. And so now we're going to work on sideline. We're gonna work on devil's left hip. And I'm gonna check for the anterior tilt and posterior tilt, and thank you for taking deep breaths. As you have reminded us before our session that you might be ticklish, and so I'm taking broad strokes, and what I'm feeling is the anterior tilt is, feels very good. Posterior tilt is where we have a little tightness, so that I'm working right on doubles gluteus medius. So we're gonna do a clamshell, so the heels are together, good, and you're slowly <laughs> raising up, good. And again, and laughing is, is, is awesome. Keep on coming up. Come on, a couple more times. When I first was rough back in 2009, I laughed all the time as well. Good. <laughs> Two more times. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, Last time. Good. Come on back. Uh, Take a couple of breaths. And now we're going to <laughs> check for the anterior tilt and posterior tilt. Anterior tilt feels very good. Posterior tilt, much better. But the tightness, again, is right in here. And that looks like that is a common, that's like more gluteus maximus. So we're going to extend our leg, keeping our knees together. Good, come on back. And we're gonna do that a couple times. So let's keep on extending. Mm -hmm. And already the left gluteus maximus feels tighter than the right side. Thank you for the good breaths, for the deep breaths. Two more times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And last time. And hold it right there. Thank you. Slowly come back to our starting point. Checking the anterior tilt, which feels good. Posterior tilt, much better. 
feeling slightly less ticklish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just knowing. <laughs> I'm sure you did that. Yeah, so we're going to finalize with a couple times taking your knee into your chest. Okay. You can continue laughing as you're doing it whenever you're ready. Good. Excellent. Way to contract your psoas muscle. And again. Mm -hmm. Good. Three more times. One, extend the leg. We're going to extend this leg. There we go. Good. Come on back. And again. Good. And extend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the last time. Excellent. Good. And we are done. And the hip on both the anterior and posterior tilt feel amazing. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, we're going to slowly turn onto our back and we'll conclude with one minute of deep breathing with the sacral cradle. Okay. So Debo has rolled over to her back and we're going to conclude with the sacral cradle. I'm going to place my hand underneath the sheet, my right hand underneath the sheet. I'm going to ask Debo to raise her hips, come down and I'm right on the sacrum. And I'm going to place my hand just right below the umbilicus, the belly button. And I'm going to ask Debo to four times to take a nice deep inhale through her nose. And exhale through her mouth. Three more times. And last time. Without raising your hips, I'm just gonna slowly take my hand away from your hips and I'm gonna have you to slowly extend your feet towards me. And I want to wish you a great evening. And I look forward to seeing you in two weeks and I want you to continue to do the good work you've been doing on the bottom of your feet, massaging the bottom of your feet, massaging your interosseous membrane just outside of your tibia, and also using the foam roller on your hips. Okay. All right, Debo. Okay. We want to thank you, and we'll see you in several weeks. Until then, all the best.